So hey guys, this is your favorite the fanfic club. So in this video, we will see. What if Naruto awakens the new aura with Sharingan and Byakugan bloodline? But before we start, remember to subscribe and like this video. Now let's start. In the dark night all you would really see is the dark night and the street lights, but tonight was going to be different. If you looked carefully and you knew where to look you would see a large mob of villagers with torches, pickaxes, and pitchforks. They decided that they would have to kill that demon tonight to get revenge for what he did to their families. CMON, let's get that demon and kill him for what he did to our families and our loved ones, shouted the leader. Yay, chorus the people. Damn it I can't let that stupid kid die or else who knows what his father will do when I go to heaven and see him. No doubt he'd be shouting at me saying how I let his son die stupid stupid me. Why did I have to know that man he gives me trouble no matter what. Whether he's on earth or in heaven size oh wells. See that made up the man leapt off. He silently merged in with the shadows and went inside the house unnoticed and quickly, before the blonde haired kid which we all know as our favorite hero, Naruto was grabbed, tied, silenced with a silencing jutsu, and then put onto the man's shoulder. Knowing he got the kid since he could sense the presence of the Kayabi, he quickly created a shadow clone, and then put the boy onto his shoulders, and then sank into the ground, and then coming back up a 100 meters away from the village. All right, let us go, shouted the leader of the mob. Quickly a few chunins created a few quick hand seals, and then shouted, Katen Gakaku no Jutsu Fire Release Grand Fireball Skill. Doing so they had burned down Naruto's house and anything in there with it. Quickly the chunins made a few more hand seals before shouting, Suatin Sakauden no Jutsu, Water Release Water Shark Blast Skill. Instantly at that time the house cooled down before creating any suspicion. They quickly went inside and saw the blonde kid burnt badly, and knowing they killed him since he wasn't breathing, quickly took him outside, and then threw him out in the forest for the animals to eat. But knowing their cockiness, they would never notice that it was actually a shadow clone. But not any shadow clone it was a shadow clone that had so much chakra in it. It could get hit cut and ripped apart, and look as if it was a human that was ripped apart. So of course they were fooled. When they villagers had gone away a long way away back to their homes they cheered. But while they were cheering the man cancelled the clone, and the chakra came back to him, and the clone disappeared. Forgot to mention Naruto's three right now, so Arye. Ugh w dot w dot where I am. Huh. Dd dark a h h h. Hello. Any on e e here help? Where am I? Shouted Naruto. A bright flame lit the cave up and Naruto noticed a man in a black cloak. His cloak reached the floor, and the bottom of the cloak was covered in lightning patterns. Yo what up kid, said the man, name's Katashi. No was to answer your question you are in a cave. How, simple I kidnapped you cause villagers were gonna kill you. Why, you have the Kayabi simple? Good, said Katashi. Naruto just stared and stared and then simply fainted. Okay maybe that was too much information too quickly man. I should really learn how to take care of kids oh wells, just gonna wait for him. One hour later Naruto woke up and thought back then he remembered what the man told him, and now he knows why they call him the monster. But, he thought that the Yandame killed it how? Then Katashi appeared again and said, yo, the Kayabis sealed into you so no worries your dad was good with seals in fact all. Yuzumakis are good with seals. A few seconds later, you knew my dad? Asked a surprised Naruto. Yay I did in fact he was my best friend. He made me promise to take care of you so yay training starts tomorrow. Get plenty of rest, or you're gonna regret it kid trust me, said Katashi ending with a grin. Next day at 3 o'clock in the morning Naruto was splashed with cold water hauled up, and then heard wake up kid time for training, shouted Katashi. Naruto grudgingly got up, and then he got dressed and headed out of the cave. When he was out there he instantly appeared next to the Raymond, and then he devoured it in less than 10 sec. Okay dot sweat drop I guess that means he likes Raymond a lot. Also just like his father. I learned not to treat him to Raymond, and I'll keep that fact on Naruto also. Alright? Naruto time for your training. Well first off let's pay a little visit to that fox of yours quickly forming seals he touched Naruto's forehead, and then they were both inside the fox. Walking down the damp place they soon came onto a huge cage, there was where the fox was kept. And then suddenly in the darkness, two big beady red crimson and terrifying red eyes. Looked at them. A-H-H-H well if it isn't the silver ninja Katashi. How nice of you to visit me said Kayabi. Kayabi we have come to make a deal with you said Katashi. What kind of deal? Asked. Kayabi. Well since you are living inside Naruto there are two things I want from you. 
and that is that one you train. Naruto and two lend him your powers, stated Kitashi. Then what would I get out of that? Shouted an angry Kayabi. Well here's your part of the deal you have a summoning contract am I correct? Yes you are. But what are you getting? Hmm. That sounds good. That is only if you promise not to wreck havoc. Well if you humans actually weren't so scared of my then you might have listened to what I would have said. The thing is I didn't want to attack your village like that I just wanted one person. What do you mean? Yay what do you mean? Shouted a tired Naruto since he was tired due to the stress of the jutsu. Well the thing is that I wanted to get a Richimaru because he attacked my mate and cub killing them wanting to get demon chakra, but he failed. Why? Because my mate wasn't a demon while my cub still hasn't awoken his demon chakra. So when I got back I found them dead and found the scent of Orochimaru on them. Knowing where he came from I ran to Kanoha village to ask them. But before I got a chance they attacked me, and now I'm sealed into you. Size what do? You expect me to do? So now I ask you this favor. Would you please help me kill Orochimaru? But of course I'll train you. Good let's go Naruto, but found Naruto slumped and tired. Quickly taking Naruto he disappeared and then came back to the conscious world. Naruto woke up with a whole new knowledge from Kayabi and a new technique. That technique that I gave you is a pretty good a decent one, perform these seals to use it. And trust me it's good for defense. I'll teach you offensive attacks later on okay Naruto side, and then he got up. Alright Naruto let's begin your training. With activating your bloodline, said Katashi grinning then he disappeared, and Naruto just stared in shock. Before he felt a sharp object on his back then multiple kunais were on his body ready to kill him. Alright Naruto it's life or death grinning he started to move quickly, but just quick enough for Naruto to keep up a little then, after a few hours of scratches and bruises. Naruto all of a sudden saw all of the Katashis, and they were moving slowly, that it was a joke. Naruto then ducked avoiding a kunai before using his left leg to kick the Katashi into the air, before using hands to spring up with the clone, and then taking the clone's kunai he popped the clone, and then taking two of his own kunai, threw the first one at an angle, then the second at an opposite angle, and then the last one he kept. Two of the Katashis blocked the kunais as they rocketed off each other, and then they saw Naruto in the middle of them. They then rushed him. Naruto immediately shifted to the left dodging a kunai, while at the next second leaned back, dodging the second attempt, and then grabbing both hands, he pulled them together, and then leaping a up a little, he kicked the two in the chest, thus destroying them. When he looked at Katashi, he immediately saw him creating a few hand seals for the Mizubunshin technique, and then a clone stabbed him from behind, before suddenly he got destroyed, and was a Mizubunshin. Katashi grinned and when Naruto reached him with the kunai, Katashi just grabbed the kunai with his two fingers and a thumb, effectively disabling the kunai, and then with a duck, he slammed his palm into Naruto's stomach, with such speed Naruto couldn't react. Naruto was sent flying back and Katashi on top of him grinning. Congrats Naruto you just activated your bloodline. Naruto looking shocked instantly looked onto the water, and indeed his eyes had changed he saw he had one sharp blade in his right eye while two in his LEFTN. If any of you have Windows Media Player then open it, and then go to the visualizations changing it to my tornado is resting. That is what Naruto eyes look like except one in his right while two in his left, Naruto smiled before finally collapsing. Katashi just smiled and then carried Naruto into the cave before he melt into the shadows. Woo Garashi is Suo gonna kill me annoying 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 paperwork he started to rank before felt a hand on his shoulder, and a shadow Saratobi appeared beside him. Smiling he said well haven't seen you in a long time, how have you been Katashi? Good good replied Katashi anyways, you can go rest up somewhere while using a henge or something, cause my clone will help you with the stupid paperwork. Now on to business I took. Naruto stated Katashi. What? Why did you do that? Shouted. Saratobi. Well as you can see the villagers were about to kill him. So I had to save him anyways he's gonna train with me in his bloodline, and learning about the ninja history from Kayabi, and before you say anything Kayabi attacked only because of Orochimaru. Then Katashi explained the details, and at the end they agreed that Naruto would return to Konoha at the age of 12, so he could join the academy to take the genin exam, and then get into a team. Su Katashi will you still be teaching Naruto when he's in the village? Asked a curious Saratobi. Of course he I will be then before he could say anything Saratobi took out a sheet and handed it to his clone, telling it to fill it out, and then before Katashi could say anything the clone filled out the form, and then gave it back to a smiling Katashi, and said good, then you'll be doing some missions, and you are now an effective Kanoha Shinobi when you get back. 
smiling he walk away, happy that he got a strong shinobi. Hitashi just sighed and then left. Nine years later a black-cloaked man with a black-cloaked boy walked up to the village gates before stopped by two of the guards. Stop. Who are you? The Chunin shouted. Silver Ninja Katashi returning from training his pupil. The Chunin smiled and then let them in. Naruto looked towards his old house noticing it was still black. He sighed knowing that he already forgave the villagers, but he still couldn't get it out of his mind. Then he looked towards the sky. And, if you have reason from Gundam Seed Destiny, then it would be a good ending song lol. Naruto, 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 shouted an angry Iruka. Iruka threw a blackboard eraser at Naruto, but before it reached him the eraser was pinned to the wall by a kunai. What? I was taking a short nap, and before you go ranting about me not listening, you were talking about the demon fox and the yandame, and how he defeated it said Naruto, sighing he got up and left when Aruka was about to question him the bell rang, and all of the kids went out of the classroom. Time skipped to when the genin exams are held. Well alright kids I know you're excited and all so we'll start right away, when I call your name please come into the room, and then you will be tested, said Aruka. Alright first up is Yuzumaki Naruto. The test procedure was simple. The first part was that you would have to make at least one clone, and the max was well, you could make as many as you want but over 3 would be a perfect score. Then the second part was that you would have to hit at least one kunai in the Red Bull's eye spot, and the last test was a written exam that was quite easy. So this is what all the kids got dot and, I'm not sure if you all would be mad or something, but well I'm kind of lazy, so I don't feel like, writing the part where they would do the test it's just all too troublesome. Naruto, C 50% Sasuke, A 100% Sakura, B 85% Shino, A 90%, Shikamaru, C72% Chouji, C73%, Kiba, A86% Hinata, B82% Ino, B82%. Alright everyone so that we do not waste any time we will tell you your teams today, and you will meet your Jounin instructor today also said Aruka. Several cheers were heard, and then all was silent everyone focusing onto Aruka, waiting for him to tell them their teams. Okay and the teams are this. Team 7, Naruto, Sasuke and Sakura Team 8, Shino, Hinata, and Shikamaru Team 10, Ino, Chouji, and Kiba. Alright now that, that is settled everyone you have a few minutes to get to know each other better. Before the Jounin instructors come to pick you up said Iruka, and then he left. Naruto and Sasuke just sat there quiet while Sakura came bouncing down, and was about to sit next to Sasuke, before she saw Naruto there, and she scowled. Get out of my way dead last. Naruto turned and looked at her and nonchalantly said, Huh, did you say something flat-chested annoying fangirl of Sasuke's? She fumed and then in a sudden movement, swung her fist towards Naruto's face, trying to hit his left cheek. But before the hand made contact it was stopped by Naruto's pinky before he said, Wow you should really care more about being a Kanoichi, than rather taking care your fashion hair and your fingernails so much. He then let go, and went back to staying quiet. How? How could he do that? Wasn't he supposed to be the dead last? I mean he just passed but barely, but he could just stop my fist that I gave everything into with just his pinky? Sakura thought. Then she stalked off and then went. With her friends instead knowing she wouldn't be able to sit and talk to her Sasuke-kun. When she had left, Naruto thought about it being a good idea to see if he could work with Sasuke, or else they might just not pass the test. Hey Sasuke, why don't we get to know each other in these few minutes we have so that we can work together and be strong to accomplish our dreams? Asked in Naruto while smiling a real smile not those fake ones that he had put on when the villagers were being mean to him. Fine grunted Sasuke. So what do you want to talk about? Asked Sasuke. Well I was thinking if we could tell each other our name, dislikes, likes and our dreams, I guess I'll start since I was the one who brought this subject up said Naruto. My name as you know is Yuzumaki Naruto. I dislike perverts, annoying girls who bother any one of my friends or just annoying girls, especially fangirls, and I also dislike people who doesn't see who you are and make assumptions. I like Raymond and training and trying to make friends, even though I don't look like it since I'm quiet. And my dream is to help all my friends and become the Hokage. Finished Naruto. While smiling, my name's Ichiha Sasuke the only Ichiha that survived from the Ichiha massacre. I dislike annoying fangirls. I like to train, and my dream know my ambition, is that I have to kill a certain man he finished while looking at Naruto. There was a short silence before Naruto spoke up. Sasuke I can understand you want to kill your brother. H.H. How did you know I wanted to kill him? Sasuke asked, 
shock that Naruto knew, because I met him and the Mai Sensei Katashi Sensei told me everything about that. I respect you want to avenge your clan, but dot, dot I highly suggest you save that for later, said Naruto looking Sasuke. In the eyes, what would you know? I have to kill him as soon as possible to avenge my clan. Sasuke screamed at Naruto. Sasuke, I told you I respect that, so I will not stop you from doing so. So I have a proposition. And that is that I will help you with my sensei will help you. So you can avenge your clan. But you must put that aside for now. So you can train and get stronger for things far worse. My sensei one day traveling back to me heard a few people talking and then when he went to investigate he found out that it was Orochimaru and a few of his guards with some other people. The people all wore black cloaks with red clouds on them. When they had left my sensei heard Orochimaru say this, pausing a little so the information would sink in Naruto, said Kukuku Itachi is too strong, so I will have to go for the younger one. Then my dream will be complete, and I will be able to get all the jutsus in the world. Finished Naruto. Sasuke hearing this stared at Naruto before staring at the ground before saying, Naruto I accept your offer. I will put aside killing my brother, until I have revived my clan, and have disposed of this Orochimaru person, so he will not bother me in this village. Finished Sasuke. Great, Sasuke do you want to become friends? Asked a smiling Naruto. Sure answered Sasuke then for once in his life he tried smiling but failed, but he got a smirk and he left it at that. Alright, let's stay friends forever, but I will be keeping my silent mask on if you don't talk to me, or I will take it off when I feel like talking to you, you can make the same choice also. Naruto finished before putting his mask back on, while Sasuke did the same and then, Sakura came in looking at the two, before she promptly sat down and waited for their sensei. When two hours came about Sakura was pretty much about to kill whoever walked into the room next while. Naruto and Sasuke just stayed silent, but on the inside, they were both also fuming pissed at their sensei for being so late. Kakashi came in and was temporarily deaf, because Sakura had shouted you're late in his ear. Yo meet me on the roof said. Kakashi before he promptly poofed away. They all sighed in unison and walked to the roof where their sensei waited for them. Alright you three we start by making the introductions tell me your name. Likes, dislikes, and you dream. Kakashi finished before pointing to Sakura. Hi my name's Haruno Sakura I like dot. Dot then stares at Sasuke. I dislike Eno Pig and Naruto. Then glares at Naruto. And my dream is Dot. Dot then stares at Sasuke again. And Sasuke and Naruto's introduction are the same as the one they did up there except Sasuke doesn't want to kill his brother anymore. But now he wants to revive his clan. Okay, well then tomorrow meet me at training field 7 at 8 o'clock. We will then take the real test to see if you are really worthy of the rank genin or not. Oh yay, and there is a 66% chance failure, said Kakashi, and with that said he pulled out his little orange book and disappeared once again with a poof of smoke, and the only people remaining were the three. When Sakura turned to Sasuke, immediately answer no, and left dot Naruto left also at the same time, and she was left there by herself, sighing she left and went back home preparing for tomorrow, and whatever their sensei awaits for them. The next day Sasuke, Sakura, and Naruto were already there and waiting for their jounin instructor. Kakashi arrived at the training grounds exactly at 10 o'clock. He was well rewarded by a loud yell of, you're late by none other than Sakura. All right, this is what you guys need to do, said Kakashi holding up two bells he said. You guys will have to take these bells for yourselves, the ones who has a bell stays, while the ones are one that doesn't goes back to the academy. You will have to come at me with a killer intent, or else you won't be able to win. When I say go you may start and go shouted Kakashi, and with that said everyone sped off and hid themselves. Hmm, I can sense Sakura by the trees over there, while Sasuke is behind me, but where's Naruto? Thinking this to himself he sighed and took out his little orange book, but before he could fully take it out, Naruto had rushed him. Kakashi putting his book away, quickly dodged Naruto's punch and stopped. Naruto grinned and said why don't you get all your clones out here na? There's no way you could really hide them from me like that finished Naruto rushed again, but this time many many more clones were around him. Naruto faked to his left before pivoting, and then slamming his hands into the ground, and using his right leg, kicked at the clone that followed him closely, and then right after dispersing the water clone, he instantly followed through onto his back, making a hook kick. Two clone came rushing in at Naruto, with kunai drawn and Naruto just smirked, and then turning his body to the left, so his front was facing. The kunai which just passed him he grabbed the clone's arm, before slamming his knee into the clone's stomach, and then dropped down to the ground while spinning, 
and then using the momentum he executed a beautiful one-legged hurricane kick with his right leg, successfully tripping the clone. Before the clone could think of anything to do Naruto with his right leg at the back used it to push himself forward, and then using his elbow to knock the clone, before slamming his knee into it to destroy it. Naruto then looked at Kakashi and grinned before saying, I figured the test out. Chows and with that Naruto raced back to the trees, and then Kakashi lost him again. Naruto quickly found Sakura, and then asked if she would work with him and Sasuke, so they could get the bells, but she simply responded by saying Sasuke-kun would never work with a dead. Last like you before stomping off and trying to find her Sasuke-kun. Naruto sighed and then just disappeared to find Sasuke. When he found Sasuke he told Sasuke the plan and the reason of the test was that the two bells was to create confusion in the team, and to make them split up. But the answer to the test was that they had to use teamwork. Cause in this case the Jounin was too high level but too. Naruto Kakashi would be on par or maybe lower than Naruto. Naruto created a clone, and then used a henge to make it look like Sakura. Then the two rushed out with the clone to finish the test. Naruto made one clone follow Sakura while they were out. Naruto immediately rushed Kakashi again, but this time he slid quickly to Kakashi's left, and then he jumped a little off the ground, before executing an air hook kick aimed for Kakashi's face. But Kakashi caught it with his right arm, and then Naruto brought his left leg up, while slamming his hands onto the ground for balance, and then with that he pushed his left leg forward, and aiming for Kakashi's face, knowing Naruto had executed a side kick, he caught the kick with his left hand, and then Naruto twisted in an awkward manner, before doing a roundhouse kick which is when he used his right leg to swing at a Kakashi's head like Sasuke did in the show. Then right away he pushed himself off of Kakashi with his left leg on his chest he pushed off, and then Sasuke came in with a flying sidekick aimed for the chest Kakashi had no time to react, but when Sasuke connected with Kakashi's chest, he poofed and was replaced by a log. Naruto swore, and then found Kakashi behind him with the tiger seal. What the fuck? A fire jutsu at this close range? Thought Naruto. That is until Kakashi shouted Kanoha's supreme to Jutsu. 1000 years of pain. Before sticking his fingers up Naruto's ass and then putting a little chakra there he released it and sent Naruto flying. Well once he was sent flying Naruto poofed out of existence proving himself as a clone before that Sasuke and Naruto both started to double attack Kakashi. Sasuke kicked at Kakashi's feet, making him jump up. But then Naruto came with an air hook kick again, while Kakashi caught the kick. Sasuke kicked him up while Naruto was released Kakashi grabbed him, and then threw him forcefully into the ground, but Naruto quickly backflipped and landed safely, before shouting now Sasuke, which was a signal to the clone and Sasuke, Sasuke launching himself into the air with Kakashi, did a roundhouse kick to Kakashi's stomach only to get it caught, and then using his left leg, he did an axe kick trying to chop at Kakashi's neck, and then when they landed Sasuke kicked Kakashi one last time in the stomach only to get it caught, but before Kakashi could do anything Naruto came in aiming for a punch to Kakashi's head. With that Kakashi released Sasuke and blocked Naruto's punch, but at that time he heard a screaming sound before turning his head to look at it which was his mistake, and then collided with a Sakura her foot sticking out looking like a flying sidekick. Kakashi was not back and then tied up and silenced with a silencing jutsu. Naruto quickly took the bells and gave them to Sasuke and Sakura. Kakashi smiled and said, Congrats, Sasuke and Sakura you passed as for you Naruto you failed. Naruto smiled and just simply walked away before he could leave Kakashi yelled back fine you pass, before muttering about the stupid Kakashi telling the kid about his exam. And then that was what got Team 7, one of the most powerful teams to ever be created in history. Time skip, after several D-ranked missions they have completed 63 D-ranked missions, and were growing in strength quickly. Even Sakura, she decided to ask Kakashi to train her, since she didn't want to ask the stupid Naruto to help her. Though she did wonder why Sasuke was with him so often. Alright you three you did 63 D-ranked missions, which is more than enough for a bump up said a smiling Saratobi. You are all going to be going on a C-rank mission escorting someone named Tazuna, finished Saratobi smiling at the three, seeing they were happy about getting a harder mission. When Tazuna came with a sake bottle in hand he immediately said, These kids are going to protect the best bridge builder ever? Humph I don't trust them, especially that pink-haired one, she looks weak. When Tazuna finished Sakura was about to kill him, but she restrained herself. Don't worry about it Tazuna sin I'm Kakashi and I'm a Jounin. I'll be able to protect you good, and the three there have been training hard, so they are good enough also ended Kakashi, while smiling he left, 
while telling them to meet at the gate in one hour. When all three had finished packing they headed towards the gate, and when they got there, they all had to wait for one hour before Kakashi showed himself, and said, yo while waving. The three just sighed and left it at that. Team 7 were now escorting a bridge builder by the name of Tazuna back to his country, and to watch over him while he finishes the bridge. Sasuk do you smell the scent of the many animals? Said Naruto. Of course, do you think a fox would wait for a rabbit before it would? Jump it or do you think the fox would just jump right away? Asked Sasuk. Kakashi finally caught on and answered. I think a fox would wait. Hmm. Interesting. Both Naruto and Sasuke answered. What the hell are you three talking about? Asks an angry. Sakura. Well, we're talking about how a fox would deal with a rabbit trying to hide, isn't it obvious? Flat chest says Naruto getting Sakura even matter in the process. Suddenly out of a puddle they passed a few seconds ago out bursts two shinobi, immediately taking action when they saw their teacher. Use a kawarimi to go to safety, while Sakura was too dumb to see it. She fell to the ground. Naruto and Sasuke both took one guy and took out a kunai they hit the guy's heads in exact coordination, and then pinning their hand to a tree. Still in sync drove their left leg onto their opponent's head, then grabbed their opponent's head, and then threw them against each other. Then at the end finished it by using a flying side kick at their stomachs, thus ending the battle. Good job you two, Kakashi said then popping out. Kakashi sensei don't scare us like that. Next time help us. Jeez shouted Sakura. Sakura I'm disappointed in you I gave you a schedule to help you, but you neglected it. Thus you are not strong enough Sasuke and Naruto. Both saw me use a kawarimi, Sakura, if you didn't neglect your training, you would have seen it. Finished Kakashi while staring her down. Well Tazuna sen this mission has been bumped up, said Kakashi. Yes I know I know, I will pay you back for the whole mission. When we have our bridge finished, finished Tazuna before starting to walk again. The three males just sighed and followed, while Sakura was back in front. After a while of walking and then getting onto a boat they started to walk again, and then halfway. Duck Kakashi, as many needles came rushing towards them. Kakashi took out a kunai and blocked them all. While all of a sudden more needles came, separating the group into two groups, Kakashi by himself and the rest. And then all of a sudden Naruto and Sasuke both threw a kunai towards the tree. Sakura surprised quickly ran there and took a look. Then she saw a white rabbit pinned by Naruto's kunai. With Sasuke's kunai right there with it. Naruto, how could you? Said Sakura then glaring at Naruto totally ignoring Sasuke's kunai and just blaming Naruto. Sighing Naruto and Sasuke took a step forward before Sasuke tackled Tazuna and Sakura to the floor, before several kunai came at them, and then Naruto just avoided. Then a huge ass sword came flying in and then at that moment, Naruto with both hands reached back into the back of his cloak, the place very few people have seen before. When the blade almost reached him of the blade was blocked by two big blades of Naruto's, think of the swords that Sword Impulse uses in Gundam Seed Destiny. And then the blade part was made of a special chakra, that wouldn't be able to slice through other people's blades, unless he puts more chakra into it. The two blades collided with Naruto holding the two blades, and the other blade smashing against it, before a blur grabbed the blade, and they both jumped back. Sasuke grinned as he has trained with Naruto before, and has seen what Naruto could do with his blades. You two stay back this guy's out of your levels, said Naruto calmly. Don't think you're so strong Naruto, I bet Sasuke. Kun's even better than you shouted Sakura. Shut up Sakura. Naruto is way stronger than me. I would know since I've been training with him. Finished Sasuke while glaring at Sakura then smiling back at Naruto. HNN kid do you really think you can stand against me? The demon of the mist? Said Zabuza. We won't know until we try won't we? Said Naruto with a grin. Then they rushed each other Naruto dashed forward with one sword at his side and the other in a backhand form. Backhand form in as if air the sword blade is pointing to your back, and the top of her hand is facing up, while the palm is facing down. Naruto quickly raised his left hand sword, and then brought it down to dispatch a water clone's abusa made, and then he quickly dropped low, and then used his right hand sword, did a hurricane spin with the blade. Zabuza quickly jumped and then stabbed down with his sword, but before it reached Naruto, Naruto intercepted by bringing one blade up, and then the other the opposite way to make them trap the sword. Quickly jumping back Naruto rushed Zabuza again, and their swords collided, but Naruto had the advantage he has too. Naruto quickly flipped the sword on his right hand back to the normal position, and then slid to the right hand side of Zabuza, 
and then sliced down making an impact on the ground. Zabuza then dissolved into a water clone, appearing behind Naruto sliced at Naruto, but Naruto became a water clone also. Zabuza was shocked, but quickly regained his composure jump before Naruto could slice him. Hey you're not bad kid, said Zabuza. Thanks you're not bad yourself, said Naruto before he took both swords, and then combined then at the ends, Gundam seed destiny again impulse in the first episode. Naruto rushed much quicker than normal, and then did a downward swing smashing it into the ground, while Zabuza jumped back to avoid, and then Naruto stabbed forward. Zabuza quickly blocked before he saw Naruto in front of him. Aura, dance of the 18 blood stars, shouted Naruto before he became a blur doing multiple swings swinging down, and then a flash of red light before disappearing, and then appearing beside Zabuza before slashing sideways before another red flash, and then multiple flashes happened before Zabuza faltered. Hmm, I'm impressed he could keep up with even the lowest form of the aura forms thought Naruto. Then Naruto shouted aura, dance of the 18 blood stars, final execution then with that said Naruto disappeared. Then Zabuza felt a presence, and when he looked down, he saw himself cut on the leg, and then he quickly brought his sword to his back, slamming it down to block the last blow, before falling on his left knee tired, and took too much damage. Then the young ninja earlier appeared from a mirror, surprising them all except Naruto who immediately sped towards them but before he could reach them the disappeared. Kakashi appeared beside them again before seeing Naruto collapsed, Sasuke sighed, and then just carried Naruto the rest of the way. Yay that serves him right, thinking he's all strong and all, said Sakura smiling. Shut up Sakura. Naruto is stronger than you and he will always be stronger. We train while all you do is think about your hair and stuff you're annoying. So don't even bother to talk me ever again, because of what you said to Naruto, said Sasuke. Sakura looked shocked what he said and was instantly infuriated and just stomped towards Tazuna's house and kept thinking it's all Naruto's fault. It's all Naruto's fault over and over again. Then when they reached the house, they quickly set up their bags and everything, while Sasuke and Naruto quickly headed out saying they were going training. When they were out at the woods Naruto and Sasuke quickly activated their bloodlines and then suddenly Sasuke asked a question. Naruto, what does your bloodline do anyways? Naruto smiled and told him to sit down, and he'll start to explain. A-N-O-K okay, this part is Naruto speaking, all of it, so I won't put the quotation marks. Too lazy. Okay there are six phases or well you could say abilities to my bloodline. I'll explain them all so listen carefully. But first the history. It is said that the Sharingan and the Byukagan and other bloodlines originated from our blue line. So I have the Sharingan and the Byukagan also for some reason I had three pinwheels from the start. When I was supposed to only get one. Now onto what my bloodline is like. The first pinwheel. When I get my first pinwheel, I had the ability to surprisingly use one-handed seals. And then when I got really used to the jutsus, then I could do them with no hands like for example. I can now use the cage bunshin, no jutsu without hand seals. Second pinwheel. When I got my second pinwheel that's when I could use my own bloodline techniques, so saying anyone who didn't have the second pinwheel wouldn't be able to use any of the bloodline techniques. Third pinwheel. When I got my third pinwheel that's when I unlock the abilities of the Sharingan, saying I can now do what you do, like copy jutsus, and then also at the same time see them in slower motion. I haven't really mastered it yet, since I didn't get the Manjikyu Sharingan, Yet so ye gotta train some more. But the special thing is when I use the Menjikyu, people dot and see it change, so I have an advantage there. Fourth pinwheel. When I got to the fourth pinwheel, I surprisingly unlocked my Byukagan which is fully mastered, and when I mean fully mastered I mean fully mastered, because I have no blind spot. Fifth pinwheel. When I get the fifth pinwheel I get the knowledge of how to do the techniques, though I have to train to use them. It's like, hmm, it's like a scroll for all the techniques, but they are in my head, so I can pretty much access them whenever I want. Sixth pinwheel. When I got my sixth and final pinwheel, I fully developed my Tenshigen, it allows me to take air particles, and then form my strongest bloodline techniques, which I won't tell you. A N finish of Naruto's speaking. Wow you got quite a lot from six pinwheels. Sasuke says while sweat dropping. Then he got an idea. Hey Naruto think you could show me some of your bloodline techniques. Said Sasuke. Sure answers Naruto. Standing up Naruto quickly performs a few seals. Some that Sasuke did not know. When Naruto finished the seals he shouted aura. Katen. Exploding kunicles. Naruto dashed at a tree before quickly pulling back. And then Sasuke saw a boom and a snap at his shoulder part. 
before Naruto's fist slammed into the tree creating a smoke. After the smoke Sasuke saw the tree had been shattered and was split in half, while the part Naruto punched was annihilated. Sasuke gaped and then just smiled before saying he was going in to rest and eat. Sure, I'm gonna stay out here longer to train some more, said Naruto before walking in deeper into the woods. The next morning, Naruto awoke suddenly accidentally banging into the girl that was hovering above him to wake him up. The girl fell down and massaged her nose before getting up again, and then smiled at Naruto's face, seeing him massage it, then pout when he saw the girl. Hi my name's Haku, what's your name? Haku said. Hmm. Oh hi well my name's Naruto, said Naruto before standing up saying. Well, I gotta go, it's probably time for me to go and get some rest on a bet, he smiled before walking off. That night, in Naruto's dream. Huh, who's this? Naruto wondered there before him was a girl with pale eyes, short bluish hair. He then remembered her. Oh 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 she's Hinata isn't she? Then another scene popped up, and he saw her looking at him and following him. Then he realized one thing. Actually he realized quite a few things. The first thing was why was he thinking about her? The second thing was, she was stalking him, and the last thing was do I like her? Then he pictured Hinata in a bikini on the beach and sweating, and then it popped out of existence. Naruto mentally berated himself for thinking such thoughts before he awoke. End of Naruto's dream. Naruto sat up and sighed before getting dressed, today was going to be long. When they all got downstairs and sat down to eat, the first thing that was said was, Naruto, don't you hold Sasuke-kun back today or else you're going to get it, shouted a fuming Sakura before she noticed that Naruto wasn't listening and instead he was eating. What he was eating you ask? Very good question. No not really, we can all guess what he's eating. And of course it was Raymond, his beloved Raymond. Sakura fumed and stomped over there before grabbing his bowl of Raymond and then slamming it on his face. Kakashi and Sasuke paled. They knew how much Naruto loved Raymond and they knew what he would do to people who did that to his Raymond. They backed up and then Naruto disappeared in a red flash before appearing behind Sakura and then grabbed her hair then throwing her into the wall, and said, Stop being such a nuisance, and train you flat-chested whore. Sasuke will never like people like you, and unless you don't smarten up you're going to get killed. Naruto just sat back down before summoning a clone to help him clean the mess up, before Kakashi said all right time for training. Kakashi walked them out into the woods and said all right we're going to do tree walking, Naruto and Sasuke can go do the water walking exercise. Sakura got mad again before shouting, Why is Naruto going there? I bet he hasn't even learnt the tree walking exercise. They sighed and they just ignored her babbling, and then they just went to train. When Naruto and Sasuke got to the lake, Naruto turned around and stared, before starting to say, All right Sasuke, choose, go back or die here, said Naruto letting a little killer intent leak out. Sasuke shocked asked, What are you saying Naruto? Naruto still void of emotions rushed Sasuke with speed that Sasuke could only follow, because his Sharingan was active. Naruto jumped high before came crashing into the ground, and Sasuke tried to block Naruto's blow furiously. Until five hours later, while Kakashi was watching for three hours already, wondering what Naruto was doing. That is until he saw Naruto throw a punch while smirking. He was shocked the least when Sasuke easily started to dodge the blows Sakura into the clearing only to see a kunai whizzing toward her, and she shut her eyes closed. She opened them a few seconds later to see Kakashi there, and that he had caught the kunai. Glad she smiled before seeing he had caught two kunais one Sasuke's, and the other one was Naruto's. She glared at him while he just sighed. That night, Naruto once again thought about Hinata, and he had no clue why. But for some reason the furball had an idea, cause it kept laughing and laughing throughout the night. Morning. Throughout the whole training Naruto was distracted about Hinata, who kept popping into his head, and then suddenly while Naruto and Sasuke was sparring, he said before Sasuke could kick him, I got it, I know why I kept thinking about her and why. Shiao while looking around Naruto noticed Kakashi, Sakura, and Sasuke just stared at him, before Sasuke kicked him in the head, and sent him hurtling into Kakashi. On the day they got to the bridge, they saw bodies of the workers everywhere, and all dead. They had no idea what happened until Zabuza appeared with the masked boy. They smirked before Zabuza said, Go Haku and then when Haku rushed towards them but was intercepted by Sasuke who grinned. Sasuke quickly took out a kunai, and then he slashed at Haku, but Haku took out a senbin, and he blocked Sasuke's kunai. Sasuke right away flipped the kunai on his right hand to his left, and then at the same time he took out another one. 
Quickly Sasuke slashed with his left hand, and then before he threw the kunai towards Haku's stomach, Haku quickly threw the senbin he was holding down. Intercepting the kunai Haku tried to kick the boy, but Sasuke blocked the blow with his left arm, and then snapped a kick at Haku before. They started to move faster, and then the mist came in and they were lost from sight. Kakashi cursed before they felt someone in the middle of them. Kakashi quickly brought a kunai down stopping Zabuza from killing them all. Kakashi drove Zabuza into the mist, and then they engaged their own little battle. Then out of the mist two ninjas sped out toward Sakura and Tazuna. Kakashi cursed and wondered where Naruto was. The ninjas quickly drew their sword and appeared on both sides of Sakura they sliced down, and then a loud clang was heard. Appearing before Sakura was Naruto and he was wearing a mask, he had a long sword on his back that he used to block the two ninja sword. He quickly drew the sword while turning around, and then swung at the ninja on the left of him, instantly killing him. The other one snapping out of shock quickly rushed Naruto, but before he could get close, Naruto was in front of Guy, and said you're worthless, before he slashed and killed the guy. Naruto quickly turned around to look at Sakura before he sped off into the mist. Sakura was there left dumbfounded. Naruto Pav. Few clothes one. Glad I made it in time. Now let's see. Kakashi is fighting with Zabuza, while Sasuke is fighting that masked kid. Well looks like there is no one left. What? What's this HN looks like there's one more. But he's good at hiding but. Normal Pav. Quickly Naruto dropped down to the mist before he slashed, and he missed the guy just barely, though skinning him. Turning around Naruto took stock of the guy, he was wearing a traditional red kimono, while there was a sword on his side. Naruto rushed him, and the guy quickly drew his sword and shouted, Shine, Sonic Wing. Naruto stopping immediately stared before whispering a Shinigami, and Naruto smiled before shouting carve open souls. Heeman Naruto smiled before looking at his opponent's blade. It had a gold handle while there were wings near the end that wolded down, while the ones at the top folded up, and then blade was a shimmering radiance of light. The light had cleared away the light, and you could now see all the battles. Sasuke had clearly beaten his opponent already seeing Haku lying there unmoving, while Kakashi and Zabuza was at a standstill. They looked up and they saw the two Zabuza smirked and said, Your student has lost before he turned fully to watch them. Kakashi doing the same watched Naruto, very intent on seeing how strong Naruto was really. Naruto looked back at his own blade. It had a black handle with upside down fire at the bottom. At the top were two black wings, and from Hell Death Scythe Custom and Gundam Wing. The blade unlike his opponents was curved and not straight. It was curved enough to be cool. And the blade was a bright green. Naruto rushed his opponent and quickly performed a upward slash, while his opponent blocked, and they jumped back giving each other room. HNN and I thought that I would be the only Shinigami here. I guess I was wrong. My name is Kratachi. What is yours? Naruto smiled and said Naruto Uzumaki Naruto, and they rushed each other, exchanging blow after blow. Naruto performed a slash at his head while he leaned back, and then back flipped before saying burst. And then he disappeared from everyone's view, while Naruto just stood calmly. Naruto then in the next second brought his sword in front of him diagonally to block a slash, before the only thing you could see was bright flashes, indicating Naruto was blocking. Then Naruto opened his eyes disappeared, and then in the next millisecond Kratachi had hit the ground instead of Naruto. Surprised and then suddenly shocked cause he felt pain on his chest. When he looked he saw he was sliced. Naruto suddenly speared in front of him, and said die, and he tried to stab into Kratachi, but what surprised him next, was what he was not prepared for. For in front of him was Haku, and he had taken the blow, when, Naruto turned to look he saw Sasuke in shock before looking down. Noticing it he stabbed the clone, and it had dissolved into water. Shock written in his face he turned back, and Naruto sighed before saying, carve, and destroy, and then Kratachi and Haku were sliced and diced quickly. Naruto then said goodbye, and he looked up before his blade exploded. In the end of everything Zabuza was killed by Kakashi by the Chidori, while Sasuke walked to Naruto and smiled. Traveling back to Konoha was uneventful, and quiet. R and R T H X, and the pairings are finished so yay. When they gang had returned to Konoha Naruto quickly ran to the Hayuga household, while Sasuke just went home. Sakura stomped off home, thinking to herself over and over again, Naruto is the problem, Naruto is the problem. While Kakashi watched his team go before walking to the Hokage's office when he stopped suddenly seeing the store, the all-purpose book shop, and in small letters and perverted books for perverted people, and their perverted minds and perverted thoughts, had a sign saying New Ichi Ichi Paradise Book Out Volume 6, 
before he ran inside and bought the book, giggling like a little girl. When Naruto arrived at the Hayuga household he was greeted by two gatekeepers. Ah no, is Hinata there? Asked Naruto. Scowling one of the guards said, she's here, but you are not allowed to see her, demon. After finishing they saw Hiyashi coming back from business and bowed. Looking at Naruto he took stock of him and asked, is there anything you want? Quickly Naruto replied before the guards had a chance. Yes, I would like to see your daughter, Hinata. Hiyashi looked at him before gesturing him to come in. Naruto let out a breath of air he didn't know he was holding. Before he promptly followed Hiyashi inside the manor. When he went inside Hiyashi led him to Hinata's room and gestured him to go inside with a kind smile. When he went inside Hiyashi smiled and thought to himself, I wonder if he's going to tell her. Sighs Arashi, I hope your child isn't as hyper as you. When Naruto entered Hinata looked up from her reading before promptly looking shocked before fainting. Naruto shocked quickly rushed to her side and waited for her to wake up. When she woke he helped her up. Suddenly when he grabbed her arm to help her up his heart started to beat faster, and when she was up, he quickly turned around before turning back around. Hinata looked at him making sure he was the Naruto that she admired ever since he was one years old. N dot and dot Naruto kun w dot what are y dot y dot you doing h dot here. Naruto looked up before sighing and said Hinata-chan, I have something to tell you. Hinata looked up, surprised before poking her fingers together and blushed, hearing him call her Hinata-chan. Well more like I wanted to ask you something. I wanted to ask you, why is it that when I stare at air girl, that my heart would beat faster and when I would be near her, I would be a little nervous. Hinata looked up before saying and dot Naruto-kun, before she could get any further, before Naruto interrupted her and said, Hinata-chan you really shouldn't stutter. It makes you look weak and insecure, have more confidence in yourself. Hinata stared at him before nodding and said, Naruto-kun what you just t-dot told me was a sign of saying that you like that person. Naruto suddenly looked up before taking a deep breath and said, Well Hinata-chan would you like to go for Raymond tomorrow night? Since I accomplished my first day rank mission? Hinata looked up before nodding and then Naruto left her, before coming back in and saying, Oh yay, I almost forgot I'll come pick you up after training which is at 7 o'clock. Hinata nodded before she went back to her reading while smiling. Naruto happy he had asked her to eat with him went back to his apartment to rest. A.N. Okay awkward and weird scene, couldn't think. Of anything else, sue me. But when he got there he saw someone with a silver cloak and smirk before they rushed each other and dove into the forest. Throughout the night you could hear jutsus, trees, and clashes of metal against metal. When the Anbu had went to investigate there was no one there except the markings of people being here. Ugh man was that tiring last night. Sensei really knows how to push someone till they're dead, said Naruto. Getting up he quickly, went and made instant Raymond, and then after finished too, he quickly sped towards the training grounds. Current time, 2 o'clock. Ah good to see you arrive Naruto, said Katashi. Yay you really worked me out last night Katashi Sensei finished Naruto with a glare. Okay for all of you idiots out there it's Katashi not Kakashi. Well alright. I'm going to give you one technique before I have to go and do some research on organization, said Katashi, before quickly making eight seals, and then tapping Naruto's forehead. Alright Naruto what I just gave you was a technique that Kakashi is famous for, so surprise him for me would you? Said Katashi with a smile Naruto smiled back before doing three seals, and then saying Chidori quickly rushing a tree Naruto blasted through it. Wow it's a pretty good technique, but I'm going to have to have my Tenshigen active if I don't want a weakness with it, said Naruto before he sped off into the woods to train. Size that kid is so much like you Arashi, and now he might even make his own little legend. Current time, 8 o'clock morning. Hey Sasuke said Naruto coming from the city and into their meeting place, the bridge. HN, was Sasuke's answer. I got a new move from my sensei, and it's a move only people with the Sharingan should be able to use it with little fault, said Naruto before they both rushed off into the woods, leaving a fuming Sakura who was thinking it's Naruto's fault. Again, all right Sasuke the Jutsu is the Chidori, it focuses chakra into your hand, making it able to pierce many things, copy it with your Sharingan. Finishing, Naruto performed the three seals needed and did the Chidori. Sasuke copied it, and at 10 o'clock they went back, and Kakashi Sensei had just arrived making them pretty much all late. And where were you two? Asked Kakashi eyeing them suspiciously. Ere we were odd not possible for Sasuke to think of an excuse, Naruto quickly came up with one. Well Kakashi Sensei me and Sasuke decided to talk a little about our bloodlines, and a little private stuff that we didn't want points to Sakura flat chest to hear about, said Naruto with a grin. Ah okay that's fine then. 
Now for missions let us go team, said Kakashi before disappearing and heading for the tower while Sasuke and Naruto quickly disappeared with their sensei, leaving a fuming Sakura once again. When they got to the tower they got another D-ranked mission. Grumbling they finished the mission quickly before going to the training grounds. Alright team, today I want to evaluate and see what kind of skills you have, and then I will teach you skills that is in your style. First up I want to have Sakura training with me. Sasuke and Naruto you have time to yourself so you have the whole week off. Finished Kakashi before he and Sakura walked into the woods. Alright since we got the whole week off let's go to Kakashi sensei and get so many new things will blow Kakashi away, shouted Naruto, before calming down and stared at Sasuke who just said not like we can't already before they both walked off while not to help that six people have been following them for quite the few days now. Finally they grew bored and just disappeared into their sensei's house, before they both jumped and saw the ground before them had exploded from exploding tags. Nice dodge you too. Since you two have the whole week off the lessons will be sneak attacks, sensing, and Naruto there is a few things you need to get from your family seeing it is the right time, and as for you Sasuke there is ability that you should have, said, Katashi sensei, appearing behind the two he had two kunai at their next dot zooms outside the house, and the six people came out all in anbu battle gear, one of them with pale eyes was trying as hard as he could, but failed miserably into trying to see what they were doing inside the house. At 6.50 Naruto quickly got dressed into clean clothes, while thinking about the new technique he got and what it could do. He knew it was a good technique, but he didn't want to copy his dad's move, so creating what he could he made a new move, which he was still trying to perfect. Arriving at Hinata's house at 7 o'clock, he went up to the guards and, when he tried to walk past them they blocked him and glared at him. You may not go into this house demon you have no right to go into this house, even if Hiyashi-sama says so. We do not know why he would even allow you to take his daughter on a date. Finishing the guard that said that quickly rushed Naruto, but before he could even reach him, Naruto had promptly disappeared from view of four Anbu and all the Hyuga guards. Appearing inside the Hyuga manor Naruto casually walked to Hinata's room, but before he could reach there six Hyuga guards pounced on him. Naruto back flipped and saw a larger room to his right so quickly he leapt to the right, dodging a hail of kunais and shurikens. Once he got inside Naruto quickly took a defensive stance, and quickly scanned around the larger room, noticing it was a dojo used for training. He knew it was a good place to fight. But after quickly scanning the room again, he found out that behind the tops of the dojo Hayuga Hiyashi, and many others were there behind the almost invisible curtain. You have been called here because we are here to test you, and see if you are worthy of Hayuga Hinata. You must win against all six of the most elite Hayuga guards. You shall begin right away, said one of the elders. Quickly looking back he noticed all six of the guards were rushing him. Elder why are all the six elites rushing him? Isn't the test a one-on-one -on -one match? Asked Hiyashi in the calmest voice he could muster. HMPH, I do not care, if he wins he shall be worthy of Hayuga Hinata, but him winning is not likely. Smirked the elder before watching the match. Naruto quickly looked and noticed they were surrounding him. Smirking a evil glint Naruto quick analyzed his choices. He quickly registered in his mind the one choice, use new technique, and whoop their sorry butts. Quickly thinking it was a good choice Naruto said, please forgive me if I hurt them too much. What? You think you can win when you are? Fighting all of them at once? Shouted the elder with angry eyes, but then smirked after Ward saying fine you can try. Smiling Naruto waited when they six charged him he leapt high into the air, and quick opening his eyes, showing they were a blood red color, quickly bit his thumb, and swiped it across his hand. Doing the seals necessary he shouted summoning technique. Blade of the Yuzumaki air. Anne, do you think I should continue? Oh oh, I feel like leaving a cliffinger, but then I don't XD, so I dunno fine. I guess I'll continue XD. Doing the seals necessary he shouted summoning technique. Blade of the Yuzumaki air. Amaterasu. Everyone present was shocked beyond words except Hiyashi who knew this. What shocked everyone was the fact he was the Yuzumaki heir, and that he could summon a Matarasu. Though the shocking matter wasn't him exactly summoning it, it was more of the thing of how. Wasn't a Matarasu an attack only the Sharingan could use? Oh oh, poof out popped a cloth that had a burning pattern on it. When Naruto landed the cloth immediately was set on fire. But Naruto was not burned in any way, and he was ignited with the fire. Looking up Naruto unwrapped the cloth, and when it was fully unwrapped, the sword sheath was a bright gold color, with the black fire burning in the places that there was fire patterns, which was down the middle. The sword hilt was blue with a circular pattern while going up, 
It was a dragon's mouth which covered the little top part of the sheath. Drawing the sword everyone saw it was just a normal blade. That is until Naruto said Amaterasu awakened for I am Yuzumaki. Naruto the heir to the Yuzumaki clan, and with that the sword ignited burning the whole sword with a bright orange flame which consumed Naruto. And then when the flame died down the sword blade was now curved, and it was a ghastly black color, while the hilt was gold, and the dragon was now gold, and burning the black flames of Amaterasu. Staring in shock the six elite Hayugas recovered from their shock quickly before they rushed Naruto, but before even getting close to Naruto he disappeared. Then appearing behind all six of the elites Naruto just sheathed his sword. And when you heard the click, all six of the elites were cut down and were unconscious. Impossible you are not supposed to beat them. Demon child, shouted the chief elder. Naruto looked up, and when he looked at everyone they gasped and remembered what they had heard in the olden times, that the Yuzumakis were a family that the strongest would inherit the great Amaterasu, and that Amaterasu watched over them. The heir was the heir to the Yuzumaki clan, but also had the highest authority over the Ichiha and the Hayugas. You are a disgrace to the Hayuga clan chief elder you are now Urbi stripped of your position, said Naruto. Then closing his eyes he opened them and walked out and found Hinata had just arrived. Smiling Naruto said, are you ready? Nodding Hinata and Naruto walked out while leaving a confused and jumbled and scrambled crowd of Hayugas, until Hiyashi recovered and immediately took control, and used what Naruto did and took advantage of that, and made himself the chief elder, and since no one objected he was made the chief elder. An. Okay awkward and weird, couldn't think of anything else, sue me. Silently thanking Naruto he promised to somehow return the favor. Naruto and Hinata were walking, and then they passed Ichirakus, and Hinata looked at Naruto, and wondered why they didn't stop there since Naruto likes Raymond so much. All right here we are Hinata said Naruto, who had brought Hinata to a restaurant that was quite expensive. When they entered they were immediately seated since Naruto had reserved a seat early. After they had sat down they ordered and were served in a few minutes right after. Hinata looking at Naruto when she was finished, eating and saw he had finished, talking and chatting a bit about their teams and what's been going on. About 20 min later they decided to go, paying the bill which Hinata was surprised that Naruto had enough money for it. They left and sat outside on a park bench. Um, Naruto kun about the day you asked me about how you were feeling was that because you saw Sakura? Asked Hinata. Naruto looking at her and then looking back down, answered no it wasn't because of Sakura. Dot dot it was you Hinata you dot a n. Man I done wanna type this out too hard to think about it ugh you guys can make up her own scene too lazy plus I got badminton in 30 min about lols. Scene changed to next day. Waking up and looking around Naruto walked to the bathroom before he was splashed with a bucket of ice cold water. Screaming he lunged at Sasuke who he remembered would be staying at his house, since they would be training together. By the time they got down for dinner they were both smiling and thankfully dry. Alright Sasuke, Naruto today I will be taking you two to train. I'm going to find out what elements is the best for you two. Said Katashi who signaled for them to follow him. Dashing out the door and locking it the three sped out until they were at a river and had many trees surrounding them. When they arrived Katashi took out a piece of paper and put it to a rock and channeled chakra through it to make sure it worked. After he was satisfied he asked the two to come over. Alright channel chakra through this piece of paper and we'll be able to find out your elements, said Katashi. When Naruto channeled chakra through the paper, the piece of paper was cut in half, and then all of a sudden had sparks on it, and the when Naruto's hand was off it reformed itself. Sasuke stepping up channeled chakra through and most obvious the paper burned, but then it quickly was wet. Smiling Katashi threw them both two scrolls each, learn the techniques inside that, and when you both are finished, I will give you higher ranking ones, and more finished Katashi before he disappeared in a swirl of chakra. Sighing the two just sat down and looked at their scrolls. On Naruto's scroll, lightning techniques. Rank D, lightning spark no jutsu shoots out a spark of lightning at the opponent to stun them. Rank C, Raiten, Ikazuchi no Yari, credit to who's asking for the name, creates a spear out of lightning, and allows user to control with chakra, and shoots at opponent. Wind techniques. Rank D, Ditapa shoots out a shot of air creating a impact good for pushing opponents things back. Rank C. Rinkuden shoots out a deadly shot of air able to pierce rocks. On Sasuke scroll. Fire techniques. Rank D. Gakaku no jutsu shoots out a big ball of fire. Rank C. Flame wave no jutsu creates a wave of flame good for pushing people back. Or taking out a big wave of people. 
water techniques. Rank D, Tepidama shoots out bullets of water. Rank C, Sujin Haki creates a barrier of water around you to protect you. Reading their scrolls Naruto and Sasuke quickly got to work. Sasuke getting his Kakaku no Jutsu right away, while his Flame Wave no Jutsu took two tries for him. Naruto adapting to the Lightning Jutsus quickly. Both made huge progress in the day. Though not fully mastered they knew all the Jutsus already. When they next day came they quickly got dressed and went outside into the forest where they started training again. Near lunchtime they had just finished mastering the jutsus, and that was the exact time they saw a hail of shuriken coming at them. Quickly acting Sasuke did a few hand seals before shouting Suiten. Sujin Heki Jutsu. The water formed and Sasuke strengthened it with chakra, and the shurikens were stopped. Quickly around 50 cage bunshins came out and surrounded them. Sasuke quickly did a few hand seals again jumped into the air, signaling Naruto to come up also before shouting Katen. Dekaku no Jutsu. Shooting the fireball to the ground he destroyed all the clones, when erupting in the ground shooting rocks everywhere, came out a stone golem. Naruto did a few hand seals before he came out from behind Sasuke and shouted Fuatin, Rinkuiden. Shooting it towards the golems he shot right through the golem's head, but still it kept coming. So Naruto made a few more hand seals before shouting Rashin, Ikazuchi no Yari. The thunder spear in front of Naruto disappeared and reappeared above the golem before going right through it and staying there. Boom said Naruto, and the spear blew up right in the golem totally destroying it. Coming out of the woods Katashi stood there and clapped, smiling at them, and said, Good job you two, you can now start on the harder scrolls. The legend has awakened, going through what they have learned these few days that they were with Katashi sensei, now self-proclaimed Kaio, since people got confused with him and Kakashi, they learned quite a few new things. Now Sasuke was a master of Katen and Raten Jutsus, while Naruto was a master of Fuatin and Suatin Jutsus. While they were both average at the other elements they didn't master, so they could still use some of the lower Jutsus. Alright Naruto let's test out these new abilities that we have learned, said Sasuke. Instantly both of them charged at each other starting at normal speed, but to a normal Jounin they would be hard-pressed to actually follow the two. Sasuke threw a punch while Naruto used his left hand and simply and gracefully swiped it away while performing a kick to Sasuke's ribs. Quickly using his left hand to block the kick, Sasuke performed a front flip landing behind Naruto and then kicking him. Naruto saw this and jumped in using his right leg, blocked the kick while spinning in the air, and then coming down performed an axe. Kick, Sasuke brought both his hands up the block before he jumped back and started with a few hand seals. Ha so starting to use ninjutsu, huh? Naruto said while smiling. Quickly finishing his seals Sasuke called out Katen. The kaku no jutsu and breathed out a big ball of fire. Naruto performed a few hand seals and called out Mujin Sajin. Ditapa sending the fireball back to Sasuke causing him to jump out of the way. Sasuke looked around for a while before right in front of him, a tiger of lightning jumped out of the forest and roared at him. Quickly performing a few seals he shouted Doten. Doryu Heki no Jutsu and he spit out a wall of mud in the way of the tiger, making the tiger crash into it and disappear. Activating his Sharingan he found Naruto and quickly jumped towards him. While making a few more hand, seals created two blades of flames in his hands, he rushed at Naruto and sliced, Naruto back away, before doing hand seals, Tsuruyuden no Jutsu, sending out a large dragon made out of water at Sasuke. Sasuke quickly jumped out of the way before he threw five kunais at Naruto, Naruto quickly took out his sword and deflected one, while he dodged out of the way of another, by doing a backflip, and the while dropping sliced apart the other kunai. Sasuke smirked, and he did a few hand seals before shouting Chidori Senbin. Before sending out dozens of lightning-based Senbin at Naruto, Naruto quickly stabbed his sword into the ground, and made a single hand seal that Sasuke didn't recognize, what is that Naruto? Was all he got out before Naruto disappeared in a flash of crimson appearing behind Sasuke's sword aiming to cut. Sasuke. Sasuke quickly jumped back a fair distance from Naruto. Before saying Chidori sword and a sword formed in his hand, Naruto seeing that it wouldn't reach stood there on guard, while Sasuke smirked and whispered. Pierce and the sword shot out at incredible speeds at Naruto, who was surprised had just enough time to disappear in another flash of crimson and Sasuke, locked with Naruto swords against each other, before jumping back Naruto did hand seals and shouted, Sour Yuu Bifuasetsu, and created two swirling dragons of ice. 
sending them towards Sasuk who grinned and performed three hand seals, and said Chidori, dashed at the dragons and sliced them both apart when he landed he felt cold metal on his neck, before he could draw or create his own sword. Hell looks like I still can't beat you Naruto said Sasuke while smirking. You might someday well anyways we should head to the training grounds it's almost time said Naruto. Ye replied Sasuke, both of them fading out and appearing on Team 7's training grounds. Arriving at the training fields they saw Sakura panting, while Kakashi was just reading that little perverted book of his. While stepping out they greeted their teacher, while Sakura shouted Sasuke-kun, before charging at him. Sasuke merely sidestepped and said, if you want to even become my friend again earn it, and also at least match up to me in a match. Fine shouted Sakura before charging at Sasuke like some mad women. Merely sidestepping again Sasuke disappeared from view and punched her in the stomach, before she doubled over in pain. Wow, Sakura what have you been learning from Kakashi all these few days? Oh oh said Sasuke. Certainly not training snickered Naruto. Shut up Naruto baka. I bet I can beat you, we can all. Guess who that is and if you couldn't guess well, I'll have to say you're an idiot. Alright if that's the case and if Sakura wants to fight Naruto. Then let's have that, said Kakashi smiling. Sakura immediately jumped at Naruto who had his hands in his pocket and tried to punch him, sidestepping the punch Naruto neater, and then did a switching back kick to her stomach, and then once landing just stood their hands still in his pocket. Sakura glared at Naruto and threw five shuriken at him, and ran behind them with a kunai in hand. Naruto raised an eyebrow and merely jumped into the air to avoid them. Sakura tried to slash at him with her kunai, but Naruto used his left foot to meet her wrist, and pushed it away before stepping on her face with his right foot, and using her as leverage jumped off of her, with a face of pure boredom. Landing on the ground he turned around and using his right leg, blocked all of Sakura's frenzied and random punches, raising his eyebrow once more he disappeared, and appearing on the other side of her, he turned his head and said hey Sakura, train more. And with that Sakura felt pain and spurted out blood, and found that her two arms had multiple bruises, and her legs were in pain, and she felt as if her stomach was hit by a metal baseball bat. Sighing Kakashi went and picked her up and told Naruto and Sasuke that today's team meeting was over, and that they were free to do whatever they wanted. Naruto looked at Kakashi before turning around and disappeared right when a blast of flame appeared right where he once stood. Appearing behind Sasuke, he threw a kick with his right leg at Sasuke's left side, and Sasuke blocked with his left arm. Then Sasuke using his left arm he pushed Naruto's foot away, and planted his right hand on the ground, and did a hurricane kick. Naruto jumped over it, and in the air, did a few hand seals and shouted out. Katen, Ryuka no Jutsu breathing out a stream of fire at Sasuke, he quickly disappeared in a flash of black, and appeared beside. Sasuke and grabbed him and kicked him up towards the flame. Sasuke quickly activating his Sharingan which had two Tomos in one eye, while the other had three. Quickly flashing through a few hand seals in a second, he quickly shouted out Katen. Gakaku no Jutsu countering the flame Sasuke landed and deactivated his Sharingan and said, Hey Naruto you mind if I stay at your house to train with you? Meh sure. Whatever let's go get something to eat, replied Naruto. Both of them headed off towards Naruto's favorite restaurant, which was of course Ichiraku's. When they arrived there they noticed Sakura already there healed and looked like as if nothing happened at ALL how, she recovered so fast. No one will ever be able to figure out. Sasuke-kun shouted Sakura as she saw him. Sasuke quickly ducked away before groaning, wondering why out of all people that she had to be stuck on their team. Sitting down he and Naruto ordered while Sakura just got back up. Naruto Baka get out of my spot. Mama sit down beside me or shut the hell up you negative. A cup banshee. A n by the way Sasuke sitting by the wall while Naruto took the seat beside him so we can guess what's happening right now. Can't we? XP. Sakura looks down tries groping the area nothing rubs nothing pulls shirt up the bra. Falls out Sasuke. A y a m e Raymond chef's daughter. Old man T-E-U-C-H-I Raymond chef and owner of Ichiraku's. Wow Sakura I never thought you were that undeveloped. I mean wow if you hit a wall then her nose would break first. Ahahahaha <laughs> Naruto shouted and then started to laugh like mad. Chi Sakura slurp slurp ahahahahaha <laughs> Sasu couldn't hold it in anymore. Hey watch it you ugly foreheaded flat cheese dot was. All he got out before he looked up and saw Sakura with fire in her eyes, but the image was ruined with the bra in her hand. Hey Konohamaru Naruto slowly said turning around to face him Naruto said run. That was all it took for him to know what Naruto meant, and ran away with all the strength he could. With Sakura chasing him, and Naruto and Sasuke following, 
annoyed at the fact that they wouldn't get to eat more. Ow! Hey watch it brat Sakura turned the corner and stopped seeing that Konohamaru had bumped into this person. That looked like a cat with an overdose of makeup. Excuse me, I'm sorry we were just playing around it's my fault. Sakura quickly replied. Playing around? Hey you can know how leaf ninjas are so weak. Let me teach this kid a lesson about life, said Catman said. Hey Kinkuro what if he gets here? Said a person with blonde hair and a huge fan. It's okay he won't be here. Yet we got a few minutes to spare. Newly named Catman said grinning. He pulled his arm back for a punch before whap. He froze everyone froze Naruto and Sasuke in the trees, froze shocked, while Gara froze, but quickly looked stoic again while. King Kuro slowly grabbed what was stuck to his face off and stared. It was a bra, a freaking bra, like what the fuck? He looked at the pink-haired flat chest who threw it at him before he threw it down, and said, the kids taking the punishment pulling back once again. He was about to punch the kid before suddenly felt pain. Looking at his arm he saw nothing but blood and holes he stood there shocked. Before he heard a voice, stop it Kenkuro you're an embarrassment to our village. Kenkuro looked to his right, quickly terrified and dropped the kid stuttering. G dot ga dot, dot Gara it wasn't me it was them they started the fight shut up, or I'll kill you, Gara said glaring at Kenkuro, while releasing a fair amount of killing intent at him. I'm sorry for what he has done now please excuse us, Gara said. Wait Sakura stop them. Why are you guys here? By your headbands I can see that you're from Sunagakur. But even though, it's okay, Sakura Sasuke said while he appeared behind her, while Naruto appeared in front of the group of Suna Genin. Drawing his sword he stated you in the cat suit, and with the overdose of makeup disappearing, causing everyone to go wide-eyed. Tamari and Gara looked back and saw Naruto beside Sasuke sheathing his sword. For threatening the Hokage's grandson that is your punishment, Naruto stated ha. What do you think you can do Gaki? King Kuro shouted before Naruto turned around and fully sheathed his sword. With a click before King Kuro felt pain, and there were multiple slashes everywhere, and King Kuro fell down unconscious. Tamari gasped while running to King Kuro's side, and quickly picked him up, while Gara looked at them and said. I would like to know your names I am Sabaku no Gara, Ichiha Sasuke, Yuzumaki Naruto. Disappearing in a whirl of sand the three sand siblings left. Naruto turned to Sasuke. Let's go I want to get some training done. And also sensei would be mad if we were late for dinner turning and starting to walk away with Naruto he replied. Chi let's go before Sakura could do anything. Naruto disappeared in a flash a crimson while. Sasuke was engulfed in flames. The end. Remember to subscribe and like this video. See you in the next video.